Hey guys, what's going on Greenville Gear? Um, thanks as always for tuning in. I am super stoked today to do a video that I've wanted to do for four or five months. Um, and they are finally back. And um, my SGC order is back in my hand. So it is tuxedo time. Um, I had two of these massive boxes full. Uh, they were super heavy and then one of the smaller ones is about 300 count size. So in total, um, I've got 55 cards to show you and I'm super excited to do it. So it'll be a little longer video. It's mostly modern baseball, but not all. Um, so settle in and, and enjoy. And um, again, I just wanted to do this for a really long time. As I mentioned, this order has been in for a while. So I submitted this on August 6th and it returned to me, shipped, and back to my door November 30th. So pretty standard in the kind of typical delays that SGC has been dealing with. Overall, pretty satisfied um, with the order. The timing, of course, could have been better. The scores and grades, um, I was pretty happy with for sure. So um, I guess um, let's get into it. I don't have a, a particular um, order per se. You can see these stacks. Um, but let me um, show you what I got. And I'm trying to think of the best way to position these, which will be here. Um, so the first card, um, and of course the first and last in the each stack is sleeved like this for protection, which is good. Um, and I looked at the scores when they were emailed uh, to me because I just I don't have the willpower to wait. But um, so no real surprises here. Um, but this is uh, for me, but hopefully for you, this will be interesting. Um, this is a uh, uh, Luis Robert, uh, and Tops did this throwback Thursday as they do online, and they did this kind of mini set of 1987 tops with Alvarez, Lux, and so on. And so this one was just too cool. So I submitted the um, Robert and it got a 10. So really excited about that one. Looks really nice. And so we're off to a really good start. It's just a neat looking card, I think. And the 87 set is so iconic and I think it just looks excellent in the slab. Up next is uh, 2020 Tops Beau Bichette, uh, just base um, from Series 1, and this one looked really good. I just had a blast looking at the cards um, last summer and kind of just being really, really tough in the scrutiny, and um, it seemed to have worked because Beau Bichette, um, number 78, got a 10 as well, and I think this one looks really good in the slab, and so... Um, so we're two for two. Uh, I will not be 55 for 55, just spoiler alert. So, um, but I just, again, I thought it was, it was a lot of fun to do it. Um, up next is this one. And this is an, uh, uh, from the 2020 set. Um, this is a Don Mattingly, um, box topper. And, um, as you see here, it is numbered to 75. So this is one of those inserts that they do, and uh, I just thought it looked really cool, and I thought I would submit it, and it got a 9.5. And really, really nice. Um, I liked that one a lot. Sorry about the glare, but this is a shiny, shiny card. Um, the purple border is really cool. I just thought it looked nice. So, And one thing I love that SGC does is, you can see that there, it says purple refractor, 61 of 75. And I like that they actually take the number, as a lot of you know, um, from the actual card and take the time to do that because you won't see that from other companies. So I do appreciate um, that. Oh, I had set up my back um, uh, stands there. Let's see. I think this Robert deserves probably one of the first initial spots there. So let's put him there. Um and I will inevitably drop these because those stands are a little unstable. Okay, up next um, is a Jordan Alvarez 1985 Tops. Uh, same, one of those um, refractors in those um, box topper packs. And this one actually got a 10. 
Uh, I love this card. I think it looks really cool. Um, if you look in the background, I had a Boba Chet that I had pulled, and that one got a 9.5. This one I was excited to get as a 10. They both looked really good to me, um, but that 9.5 was in a different order. So there's Jordan Alvarez um, in a 10. Speaking of um, Jordan, here's his base Series 1 from 2020. Uh, I think I submitted a couple of these. Uh, he's a player I really like, and the first one got a 9. So nothing too exciting there. And here's the second one, Jordan Alvarez, Series 1. And this one got a 9.5. So decent there. Um, and I don't know what I'll do. If I'll probably keep both of those. And that's my big debate. You'll see later in the order here that I've submitted some multiples of some um, players trying to get 10s. And then I'll keep the 10 or keep a 10 or two 10s and then... Maybe sell the other ones to um, buy more cards. Um, here's a Shohei Otani. And, uh, of course, people talk about Shohei's um, hobby. Um, and I guess that's hobby value and those kinds of things. I don't get too caught up um, in all of that. The reason that I submitted this, this is a Series 1. This is actually short print. Um, so I thought it just looked great. And so I submitted it, and it got a 10. Um, so this is a variation, um, you know, warm-up jersey. And I just thought that was really... Um, kind of special. So submitted that one and, and that one will go in the PC. I really have a lot of fun collecting short prints. So if you hadn't seen that card, there there it is. Um, up next is a Glaber Torres, who uh, obviously had a, a tough year this past year, struggled a little bit. Um, my father-in-law is a big Yankees fan. And so, you know, he keeps telling me all about Glaber Torres and stuff. So I kind of try to uh, collect a little Torres. Um, uh, because of that and just kind of um, uh, for fun. Um, so this is the 2019 pink refractor. You can see refractor there. I don't, I never liked how they have that um, there and with the rookie cup and it got a nine. So I know people don't love the pink refractors. I do. I like all the refractors to be real honest, um, but I, I don't know. This is not the most popular, but um, so I had a few of these Um and so here's the second one from the 2019 Chrome. I pulled all of these um, out of those pink packs um, last year. This one got a 9.5. And actually, unless I say so, I think most of this stuff is pack pulled by me. Um, and then the last one and the final one got a 10, which I'm pretty excited about. So I like that. And I, I totally dig the cards that have the Rookie Cup. And there's some discussion in the hobby about um, you know, second year cards and the rookie cup and so on. I, I totally mean to it. You'll see a few more here coming up. Um, up next, um, kind of a classic card in the hobby. Um, 2019 series two, number 410, Fernando Tatis Jr. Rookie card. I only have, um, two of these in my collection. The other one was a Chrome and that one did not get graded by SGC uh, because of minimum size requirements, so I'll have to send that one off elsewhere. But this was the base paper, and this one got a 9.5. I just think this is such a beautiful card, and I'm happy to have one in my collection. And again, I pulled this one out of a pack um, last year, and so and didn't even you know really know at the time that Tatis was going to be um, Fernando Tatis. Um, I keep forgetting we got to kind of showcase a few of these as we go here sorry about the glare there but the glares are the lights more important i guess on the cards that we're showing so up next speaking of rookie cup cards this is the juan soto series one uh number 213 uh, from 2019 uh, another one of those horizontal cards and this one got a 9.5 rookie cup i just think that's a super neat card and I had a few of these. I had four or five of them, and I just went through and just picked my very best one. So I got a 9.5 there. And the second one is this one. And got a 9.5 um, on that one. So a pair of 9.5s on the Soto Rookie Cups. So, you know, it would have been cool to get a 10 on, on one of those, but that's okay. Um, actually, I'm thinking maybe I'll do this, and then that way you can see the, the background a little better. Just a little repositioning. Okay. That's better. Good. 
Um, so up next um, is an Acuna, and this is 2019 as well. This is also a Rookie Cup. This is number one in the set. I just submitted these because I uh, liked him and I like this card. The batting um, is really neat, and this one got a 10. So I thought that was great. Rookie Cup. Another one, number one. 9.5. And the third one, number one. And that one got a 10. So a couple 10s there, which I thought was pretty neat. So I'm not sure that that's the most outstanding card of the order, but we'll put one of those back there. Um, I just had a lot of fun looking at the cards. Uh, and one of the last ones, probably from 2019, I think, um, is Mike Trout, card number 100. Really iconic photo, and this one got a 10. Um, catching that home run ball. And just a really cool card. I just thought it was too special of a card. So, I, I, you know, I had a few of these, like like a lot of you collectors like me, and I just tried to find the best one. I just had a lot of fun. Of course, some of the challenges are these dark corners um, on this series, and that one passed the test. Um, up next is this Luis Robert. Um this is a Topps Heritage that I had in a box. And, you know, I, I, I broken some Topps Heritage last year and was super excited because I found this one and it turned out also to be a 10. And so I thought that's kind of um, a fun card. So definitely we'll keep that one. And uh, like a lot of these, just thought that was really neat. So there's his um, Topps Heritage Minor League, that 1970 design up next you'll see a lot of cards from this set because i'm sort of obsessed with breaking wax from it and i love the rookie class in it this is 2018 series one and Raphael devers so i think i submitted four of these and i got a 9.5 on that one i just love this card here's the second one kind of one of my pc players that one got a nine. Not great. Here's another one. Another nine. So not great on the grade, but I'm happy to have it. But for me, this is the big card to chase. I love it. It's a rookie card and it's a rookie cup. And the last one got a 9.5. Again, I just love this card. I think it's super um, interesting the way he's kind of slapping the ball here. It's got the rookie card logo. It's got the rookie cup logo. Um, and he's a player that I, I like on the Red Sox, and so it's just fun. It's a shame I didn't get a 10 on one of those four, but uh, better luck um, next time. Uh, almost done with this first massive stack, so maybe halfway done, so thanks for sticking with me so far. Uh, up next is this Victor Robles. This is uh, a guy that I collect, and um, this is the 1983 Tops um, variation on the rookie card. This is one of those inserts. I love these series, the 83, the 84, the 85. I just think they look super cool. And I was happy when this one got a 10. I think it just looks great in the slab with the white border. Uh, it's a rookie card, uh, and this one will live in my collection. I'm just um, um, happy about it. So kind of nice that that one um, came back a 10. And... The last card, and this is a little unfortunate because um, it was in the sleeve, and you'll see that the card itself is cracked on that corner. It was in the box, and the corner of the box was smashed in transit, which is a real shame. Um, I already wrote SGC, and they said that they would reholder it, but I've got to send a note back with my next submission and all that kind of stuff. This is the 2018 Series 1 Robles. What is really unfortunate about it is this is one of the cards I was most excited about, and it got a 10. So this is the 2018 um, Robles, and it's the rainbow foil, and it got a 10. So a little unfortunate that it's got the crack case, so I won't get this back for another six months. But look at that rainbow foil. Isn't that a beauty? So this one will be in my collection. It just has to get fixed um, on that um, issue um, with the cracked case. And to be honest, that 83 Robles also had a bit of a bad corner. It was the card right on top as well. So I might just go ahead and submit. Um, both of those back to SGC and hopefully they will do um, a reholder for all of them. All right, let me do this next stack. A um, bunch more rubber bands here. 
All right, um, back to 2018 series one. And this is um, the base. And so um, I submitted quite a few of these. Just again, had a blast doing it. This one got a 10. Here's another 2018 series one. This one got a 10. So I was really nailing it on the Robles base. These were probably my run um, that did the best. Here's another one. You can see I just had a massive stack. This one's a 9.5. So if I submitted five or six, then I probably had nine or 10. I think I did buy some lots because that was kind of fun online. Not all of these were pack pulled by me. Some of them were. And there's another 10. But it was cool to get in a lot of five or six of them and just look through and see if I could find any that looked worth grading. And this is crazy. Here's one more. Um, and that one got a 9.5 as well. So all 9.5s and 10s. But I just love that card. It's one of my favorite pictures on uh, on any modern baseball card. I love this one. Um, I love the Verdugo. I love the Bueller. All from this set. So I just really love 2018 Series 1. Speaking of Bueller... This is 2018 Series 1, and this is the Walker Bueller Rookie. So I had a few of these in the order, and that's a 10. I just think that looks absolutely gorgeous. And he's a guy that I also like to collect. Super fun guy to watch pitch. He was just amazing in the World Series. So it was fun because I was watching the World Series, and I knew I had these cards in. And, and uh, it's just cool. And to think about I knew I was going to get these cards back so here's another one from series one that one got a 9.5 number three and again I think I did another lot of him that one only got a nine still beautiful card and if you can see with your naked eye the difference between that and the 9.5 or 10 then more power to you and one more And that one got a 10. So a couple of 10s. Super stoked about that. And a little more 2018. I told you I was obsessed with this set. And again, picking up lots and stuff. So most of this pack pulled. And then some of them um, supplemented by some small lots. Um, Jack Flaherty from the Cardinals. Pitcher. Series 1. 10. Also great photo. Love the horizontal cards. I talk about it all the time on the channel. I know it's not for everybody. But it's for me, that's for sure. It's part of the reason I think maybe I like 1960 tops and, and like collecting that as well. So here's another Flaherty. Another 10. Another Flaherty. 9.5. I think Robles was the guy that I had the most cards. I don't think I had more than four of anybody else. Usually it was kind of four. Flaherty, four Buellers. And there's the last Flaherty. And that one only got a nine. Quote unquote, only got a nine, but still, what a what a cool card. Looks great. Um, definitely not gonna whine about nines, right? Just really happy to have the cards. Um, speaking of Robles, here is a, a a few chromes that I had too. These were, um, I think these were from a lot. That one got a nine. What's cool about this one is it's a prism refractor. So I just love that. So that one stays with me for sure. Even though it's a nine, I'm very happy to have that card. Here's another chrome. I guess it's a base chrome. Yeah, 9.5. Nice shine to those. Sorry about the glare, but once the chrome comes out, so does the glare. Here is another Robles chrome. So you can tell, I think I definitely, because I didn't break that much 2018 Chrome, if, if at all. So I think this definitely was from a lot. That one got a 9.5. And the last one. Got a 10, which is really cool. So definitely we'll probably keep this 10 and the Prism Refractor in the collection. And then maybe... Um, depart with the others or something like that we'll see uh up next is an Aaron Judge um, this is from the same set um I submitted this because it's the rainbow foil and it is also the rookie cup 
future stars. Thought it was really neat. And unfortunately, I was not as good in my eye as I thought. This one got a nine. Still, I love this card. Um, it's not going anywhere. Um, and this was pack pulled from by me. Also pack pulled by me. I think not in the same pack, but probably two packs later is this Reese Hoskins, also a rainbow foil. This is his rookie. I have a bunch of Reese Hoskins. I, I you know, he, um, haven't submitted his cards yet, but this one I wanted to submit because um, it was the rainbow foil, as you see here. And that one got a 9.5. Looks really nice. So cool to have that in a collection. One of the other big cards from 2018 in terms of the rookie chase is Ozzy Galpies. And so I submitted um, a couple of these. I don't think I had any from lots. I think these were all pack pulled by me. There's a 10. Neat card. I think he was hurt a little bit this year, but hopefully hope he'll be back um, healthy and ready. And here's a second one. And that one got a 9.5. So nice looking. Um, a guy that I love in my PC and like to collect is Alex Verdugo. And so this is a 2018 Chrome Verdugo. And it is also the autograph. And so love this card. Was happy to submit it. I didn't, you know, you can tell SGC whether or not you want them to grade the autograph or not. I don't know. I might have preferred if it just said 9.5. Um, but now we know that the autograph is a 10 as well. But isn't that cool? I think he's got a great signature. It's kind of small, but... Um, Really neat. It's on card. And uh, so really happy to have that one in the collection. For sure. I kind of PC Verdugo. And um, here's another Verdugo Chrome. I have a lot of fun collecting them. And I just love this card. And that one got a 10. So excited about that as well. I'm excited about all these cards. I keep saying that. If you like cards um, and collecting, it's cool to get an SGC order back, that's for sure. Here is my lone hockey card of the order. Uh, it is a 2019-20 Upper Deck Young Guns Capo Caco from the Rangers. And I think I bought a random blaster or something of hockey, uh, maybe when the pandemic started or something, because hockey um, was kind of the only retail that was left at the time and kind of still is sometimes. But I just kind of thought it would be fun. And I used to collect hockey in the 90s. And so this one um, came back a nine. So not great. I actually thought it would um, do a little better than that. But um, it's a cool card. I love that Young Guns series. Really neat. So, Kako is in the elect, uh, collection, and the last one of the massive stack, and then I've got four or five left, so we're almost done. This is that Pete Alonzo from um, Topps um, Archives, and again, quote-unquote, his hobby is not great. I just like Alonzo. I think he's a cool player. This is the star rookie, and this one only got a nine, but I just love that. I think that white border looks great. And over here, you'll see uh, about five more cards. First is this one. This is another Alonzo. This is from, um, I think, Archives, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or Heritage, excuse me. The other one was Archives. This is from Heritage. And if I also am not mistaken, I think Blake Case sent me this card. And so I sent it off to get graded because I just thought it looked really great. It was really nice that Blake sent it to me. And so... Um, I just added it to the stack, and it got a 9.5. So thanks, Blake. Um, and uh, I'm just happy to have it. Really neat. Here's a Tatis. Um, and this is um, from Archives. It's a rookie card. And it got a 10. I love that pose. A retro look to it. I just pack pulled this, you know, whenever I did a year ago. So I was stoked about that. Got a little Tatis run here. I didn't submit hardly any Panini products, but these I did because they were Tatis and they looked pretty good uh, under my light and magnification and so on. So this is the prism. This is a hollow 
Tatis rookie, rated rookie, and it got a 9.5. Gorgeous card with the iconic rated rookie. So that was neat. And a version of this card, this is not the hollow prism. This is the regular uh, base rated rookie. And this one got a 10 from 2019 Optic. Neat card. White border looks great. And it's a Tatis rookie. And the last card of the order is this Throwback Thursday Gavin Lux. I told you about that mini set. So I submitted this one and I submitted um, the Robert, which is how the order started on the video. So we'll start and finish with Throwback Thursday. This is a Gavin Lux. And this one got a 9.5, the Future Stars. So I thought that one looks really cool in the slab. So thanks as always for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, if you like the video and, and want to check out some more, please subscribe and, and like, leave a comment, all that stuff. It'd be cool to interact. Um, and I've got some other videos coming. Um, I think I have three PSA orders that are pending and I'm going to do another small SGC order. So stick around on the channel and there'll be more um, content coming. But hope you all are well and take care.